the Rolling Stone. This is the story of the Rolling Stone, an unfinished story, because the leading characters up until now have been rather camera shy and not at all cooperative. Many of their relatives have apparently been lost, and considerable advertising has been done as to their whereabouts. Watch for falling rocks. Look out for rocks on the highways. Danger, rockfall areas, are just some of the signs that can be seen everywhere. Because a rolling stone must obey certain natural laws of mass, energy, velocity, impact, and restitution, as well as being influenced by friction, time, gravity, and other things which have been rather well known since Newton's time, it seems only reasonable that the behavior of falling stones would lie within certain limits, limits which can be utilized as a basis for design to contain them. The problem that confronts us then is this. To design an economically safe rock cut, one that does not need to be advertised as to its danger. To do this, it becomes necessary to know in detail what happens to a rock when it falls or rolls along a tailor slope. The following pictures graphically show the behavior of rockfall under a variety of controlled conditions. When rocks fall from vertical cuts, they rarely touch the toe of the cliff and usually stay near their point of impact. These cliffs you are observing are about 130 feet high and nearly vertical. The debris that has come from them has accumulated within a 15-foot zone along its base. The large and small pieces stay together since there is little rolling after time of impact. Note this rock in particular. When it makes impact, it actually rolls toward the cliff. This demonstrates the value of steep slopes if the rock mass is sufficiently strong internally to permit it. The deck of the test trailer serves the purpose of a portable ditch. Its deck is sloping at one and one quarter to one and is placed facing the cliff as if it were the side of a deep ditch. In this manner, it can stop the rocks after they make initial impact. This is a simple relationship. More bounce to the ounce. The equipment spread is set out in such a way that the trailer sits inside the fallout area itself. Hence, we expect that it is going to receive severe treatment. Note this rock went right through the deck. Another one's over the top. One more goes through the deck. The purpose of setting this trailer in this position was to show that there is a critical zone within which rocks fall and that the edge of the ditch should be placed further out from the cliff to trap the rocks effectively. A definite impact zone or fallout area must be set aside for this purpose, for it makes little difference how deep the ditch is unless it is of proper width.